Hey guys, Leslie here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing tasting, awesome salsa, all using Dollar Tree ingredients. You heard it right, Dollar Tree ingredients. Alright, so let's get started. We are going to need one container of the powdered cayenne pepper, which is 2.25 ounces. One container of the extra virgin olive oil, which is 8.5 ounces. Also going to need salt, which you'll probably have at home already. A minced garlic, which I also got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, in a small pot, we are going to pour in the whole container of the extra virgin olive oil blend. I did see that, okay? It's blend. And the whole container of the powdered cayenne. If you are the Bill Gates of salsa making, go get the brand name stuff, girl. Please, or boy, please get it. Anyway, so now a dash of salt and about half a teaspoon of the minced garlic. You can also use garlic powder or um, fresh uh, garlic, that's fine too. We're also going to set it on top of the stove and we are going to have it on medium high heat. And what you're going to, ooh brother, let me turn the light on, ooh. Okay, so we are going to mix it every two to three minutes. Um, you know, have to be on top of the stove the whole time this is a uh, frying or cooking and um, but I do uh, mix it every two to three minutes just to make sure you know stir it around and we are going to leave it on top of the stove until it looks something like this so we're basically frying the powder and uh, the minced garlic and the salt to you know, make sure all the flavors are nice and uh, blended with each other and they're making love to each other and all that good stuff so once it looks like this once you think you're done then you will pour it into a bowl and look at the nice deep red woodsy color oh it smells amazing wish you could be here so you can smell it um anyhow so let's let it cool down because you don't want to eat it while it's super hot they don't want to burn a hole in your tongue or in your body because it's kind of spicy um, but anyway so let it cool down and this is what it looks like and we are going to take it for a ride right now because it is so good anyway so just that and it will settle at the bottom but don't worry just mix it and it'll be okay so this is a green tortilla don't freak out it is a cactus tortilla and it's super good so I just poured some on top of my taco meat here and oh lord it is so good. The recipe will be in the info box. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you liked it. And for all of you that are freaking out over the tortilla, let me show you one with the regular corn tortilla. And this one I poured a little bit of lime juice and then some more salsa. Oh, 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 oh. It is so good. So let me know what you think. And let me know if it was easy. Please send me some pictures of your salsa, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what's up. Bye.